Good morning, everybody. It's Friday when I'm filming this. There was no video yesterday on Thursday. Britt and I had a few appointments with doctors and such for our science baby that's coming up. If you're new, I believe I have everything uh, uh, that you need to know about me down below in the description of my video. Let's get to trucking. Let's see if this truck will start. It's not as cold today. It's about minus 20 Celsius, so it's not bad. I have an assignment for today. I have to go pick up a trailer that's at the trailer repair shop in Winnipeg. Grab that trailer. It's a roll tight. We're going to pull it on up to Arburg. We're going to put some stuff in it. I don't know where that stuff is going. I, I'm supposed to know. It's, it's in my computer. I, I did know. But then I didn't know. <laughs> I forget. But I know where it is. I just don't know where it's going. But for now, all I need to know is that it's going into my trailer. I'm going to tie it down and secure it. And I'm going to bring it back here to our yard. And then one of our... Our great highway drivers is going to take it to its final destination. So let's uh, go start her up and let's get to it. Okay, she's all ready to go, all right? All ready to go, let's do this. Let her do her cycle thing. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. All right, come on, girl. There you are. There you are, I missed you too. Off we go. Another day of trucking in the making. Getting stuff done. I got a bobtail into Winnipeg. I told you that already. Stay. All right, let's go, 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 go. Come on, come on. It's a little slippery on the driveways, but the roadways have been salted and they're clear and they're doing pretty good. Remember to fuel up tonight. We've got just uh, above a half tank. I want to make sure I park this truck with full tanks of fuel on the weekend. I'm supposed to pick up trailer 411. Now, if memory serves me correctly, that is a step deck roll tight. Usually, I'd be like, "Oh man, <laughs> those step decks can be a little bit of a headache to open and close." I mean, but. Uh, since it's coming from the trailer repair shop, I'm assuming everything is working fine and everything has been fine-tuned and greased. And it's gonna be really good. Look at that sun coming up. It's so nice to come to work and start working and have sunlight in the sky already. Huh. You getting tired of me talking about that yet? Oh, get ready, I gotta talk about it more. I get excited at this time of year. I love counting down the days to summer. See all this purple light here? This uh, this uh, light here, uh, whatever, the, the street light is still purple. They still haven't replaced it. So we're gonna play a game, okay? We're gonna see how long it takes them to replace that faulty street light. My guess is they're just gonna leave it. Uh, I'll leave it. I hope that it turns it. Maybe it'll turn green. I don't know. You'll never know if you don't leave it. <laughs> well, we've arrived here at the trailer doctor, or the trailer hospital, also known as a service center or repair shop. 411 is what we're looking for. It's one of our blue roll tights. I'm thinking it's probably that one right there. I'm thinking it's that one right there. I'm betting my money on it. Five cents. Five cents. Oh, big winner, 411. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right, I'm a gambling man. Five cents. I was worried there for a second that it wasn't going to be 411. I'm like, oh man, where am I going to give this five cents to? <laughs> Let's back her up. Come on, hook on. We're going to be friends, 411. I'm taking you to Arburg with me. It's going to be fun. Oh, we got so much stuff planned, so many activities. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, there you are. Married. Okay, let's get out here and uh, we're gonna do our pre-trip on this now. Tell the government I'm doing my pre-trip because they're always curious what I'm doing. 
It's a great day. You want to know why? Because it's today. It's two day. Two day is a great day. And it's Friday. That's also a part of it. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go, old man. Get out of here. There we go. 411. What stories you got to tell me? What'd they do to you? Looks like we got a weld here. I don't know if this is new or not. Uh, probably new. A weld there. Let's just do a little. Let's roll up the landing gear first and we'll hook up the lights. Put air through to the trailer. Make sure there's nothing leaking. You know, all you know, all the same stuff I do every day. Okay, here we go. Roll that down. Alright. Whew. Here we go. Should have done this first, but we'll do it now. Let's make sure that this pin is locked in. Can you see? Your eyes better than mine? My eyes are telling the story that we are locked on, locked and loaded, ready to go. I need to see those. I need to see those. There we go. Okay. Let's hook up the lights and the air. Looks like we got a new pin in here. Oh, very nice, very nice. Lights, camera, action. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want to be doing that too loud now. Okay, there we go. Let's fill her up with air and we'll go look inside the trailer. There's no air leaks here. Uh, let's put our lights on, remember, and our brakes. Why am I even forgetting that lately? Brakes, brakes, my fancy, my fancy brakes. There we go. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fire Extinguisher. Not just for putting out fires. Oh, I hear some air leak in here. I think that's just my suspension adjusting. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Oh! Well, hello there, my friends. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this. There's a lot of equipment here. Yikes. Okay. Oh, we got new new ratchet straps here. Very nice. Very nice. Another one over here. Very nice. Matching. Same color. We like it. Oh, my. Might have to do something about that. <laughs> At least it's all in one spot, you know? This is all over there, not all over here. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. What do we got going on here? You guys see anything that's new or that looks new? I don't see any holes. So if there was any holes, it's patched up. Uh, this is a little loose. We could tighten that up. Okay. How's this one doing? One's a little loose too. We're gonna to tighten that one up too. That holds this whole thing from shaking around too much. Everything else looks good to go. Good to go. The bar's there. Okay. Two thumbs up from Trucker Josh. Oh, I got, we gotta go walk around the outside. Nice riser in here, just in case. Climb over all of those. Oh boy. Okay. Ugh. Yes. We'll worry about that in a second. For now, just put that there. All right. Lights and air. See that air leak sound is gone now. It was just my suspension adjusting. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Man, we're buried in here, aren't we? Compressed air. Compressed air. And compressed air. Nice. What do we got going on here? Been getting around the back here. What stories do you have to tell me? Lights are all working. Oh, I see. We got new uh, Velcro straps on the side here. Awesome. We really needed those on our trailers. 
That is awesome. Good, 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 good. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh boy, we got a lot of snow in here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk right through this snow. I was thinking of being lazy and just pulling it out to the open and checking everything there, but no, nah, we'll just walk through the snow. Snow's not gonna hurt you. It'll just make your feet cold. Not gonna kill you. Feet are a long way from the heart, right? Okay, how's it and everything? Lights are working down here. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna walk through more snow than I have to. I'm not crazy. Here we go. Just get that snow, oops. Ooh, that's louder than I thought it would be. Just get that extra snow off my shoes so that when they warm up, it doesn't melt and get my feet wet. Okay, I hope that these brakes aren't frozen. Let's get this thing out of here. Onwards to Arbor once we get everything cleaned up a little bit in here. It was nice to go back up there to Arburg. I haven't seen the guys there in a while. It's nice to catch up. Got my trailer all full of stuff. It's going to Florida. I figured out where it's going. It's going to Florida. I'm not going with it, but uh, I wish I was. I hear the weather's nice there. I wouldn't mind seeing a palm tree again. It's been so long. You guys turning? right on in here. Sorry, sorry, my bad. There you go. So sorry, bud. Yeah, one of these days. What's rattling over there? I think it's that mirror, it's touching the glass. Why is it folded down like that again? I probably did that. That's annoying. Yeah, it's definitely that mirror it's vibrating on the glass. Oops, I gotta fix that when I stop. So yeah, traveling back around the north side of Winnipeg here right now. I think this is all I've, uh, all I've gotta do today. Oh wait, no, I gotta go fuel the truck first. I've got a doctor's appointment. Bert and I both have appointments this afternoon or this evening at uh, 5 p.m. So we don't wanna be late for that. Scheduled this one for after work, so I didn't have to take off work at least. I hate making appointments during the day. You know, working Monday to Friday, I said it before, it's so difficult to get appointments and things done, especially with the doctor and stuff, because they only work Monday to Friday also. So when we all work Monday to Friday, how am I supposed to get there? I have to take a day off. That's why the schedule of like Tuesday to Saturday is like, mint. That would be the perfect schedule to have. Then you have Monday to get things done, right? But, but we make it work. This load isn't very heavy at all. At all. I'm guessing maybe 10,000 pounds. But it took up most, pretty much the whole trailer. Alright guys, I'm going to come through here because I'm bypassing all of these exits. I'm sure all these people will be exiting, seeing as they're slowing down already before the off-ramp. What would you say your biggest pet peeve is on the highway? My pet peeve is people's inability to merge correctly or yield on the merge or, you know, just not knowing how merges work in general. What's your biggest pet peeve on the highway? Let me know down below in the comment section. Deep, do traffic, traffic, traffic. A little tow truck. What do you got there? What you got there, bud? Oh, I know what's wrong with that car. It's out of gas. Okay, here's my chance. Here's my chance. Nope, nope, that's not my chance. Such a tricky intersection. Okay, after this pickup, that way is clear. After this gravel truck, this way is clear. All right, hang on everybody, we're about to send it. Oh, here we go, here we go, oh. Nope, I'm spinning too much. Can't make it in front of this guy. This guy is torquing in here. They really need to salt this intersection. Okay, we're still clear on that side. Ah, oh, come on. 
Come on, get off the ice already. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Traction. Traction. Oh, yeah, bud. I got my, I put my four ways on. My please don't hit me splashers. at the latest to make it to our appointment tonight. And then uh, we are planning on going out for supper at Boston Pizza in the evening with a couple of our friends. Looking forward to that. <coughs> so this is what the end of my day looks like. Take my pen, go to my calendar up here, cross off the day that we just completed. Make sure my lights are off, take my key, plug this in, make sure all my stuff is in my backpack. Usually I'd be wearing my jacket because it's cold, but it's not so cold today. It's actually not too bad. I think it's only about minus 20. And got all my stuff here. I'll go around and move it into the pickup truck. Walk this door. While we're on our way around the front here, I'm gonna plug in this truck here. This is where my block heater cord is. And this is where this block heater cord is. Oh, 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 come on. There. It's made in China, if you're wondering. Bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, then I plug this in here. That'll keep my engine block warm over the weekend so it'll start. I need it to start for me Monday morning. Got some stuff to do then. Okay, and then I take my key off this little ring here so it's not all hanging in my ignition. So it's just that. Okay, we'll start her up. Radio is probably going to be really loud because I always leave it loud for some reason. One second, we'll just wait for that to. Oh, I didn't actually. Well done to our firefighters. Well done to our firefighters, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. And this is my messy back. <laughs> this is all my winter stuff in here, okay? It's it's not a mess. I know exactly what all that is. I put it there on purpose. Come on. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I'm just gonna go in that there. Put that there. And that there. Grab this. This and this. Put that there. Yes. That. And then I grab my backpack and make sure my folder is in my backpack and my mug is in my backpack and everything else is in my backpack. Put my backpack in the truck. Close that door of that truck. Close this door in this truck. Lock this truck. Double check, make sure it's locked. Go back to this truck. Usually now I'd be wearing my winter jacket, right? Which gets very dirty and greasy from work. So I take my jacket off and I throw it in the back there. But since I wasn't wearing my jacket, no need to do that into my pickup truck, put my big truck key on my little truck key ring, and put it right here with my McDonald's coupons, my mask, and my keys. Got my water bottle right here, very excited. Okay, everything's done. Now we go home, and that's what you look like. <laughs> Don't you look goofy sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs> strapped to my head. Oh, that's funny. We reverse, watching our backup camera and our mirrors. Backup cameras are like the best invention ever. Okay, 
See you later, truck. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Da, 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 da. Then we go towards this exit here. And I go out the back exit. Unless it was too late, then we go out the front exit. Because the back exit doesn't open at a certain time. I don't know when that time is, but at a certain time, this thing stops opening. I don't know why, there must be some very, very, very good reason. But since it's still working now, clearly, we're gonna go right out this door, right out this gate, and head on home. And that is how the end of my day happens. In summertime, sometimes my end of day is more exciting because I have my motorcycle here at work. And then we get on the motorcycle and strap everything to my back so that we look like some kind of adventurer, some voyager, and we ride home. Look at this Cadillac, and I love these Cadillac SUVs. Man, that's nice. Dollar dollar bills. Man, you can just smell the money from here. Wow. Oh, it smells good. Oh, let's follow it. Come back here. Hey. I want some money. You think if I like tailgate him close enough that, uh... oh, he doesn't even use his signals. Oh, so he's one of those rich people. I see. <laughs> I see. Hey, when you're that rich, you don't need to use turn signals. People know where you're going. Probably have one of those neural links, right? You just communicate telepathically with everyone. Can't wait till I get that rich. You know, good for them. Good for them. I'm happy for them. One day it'll be me.